What's up guys, Dirty here, and um, I've been meaning to put out some more videos recently, so I thought, screw it, I'll just do one now. And this one's basically, I've been receiving lots of messages in-game and whatnot, because I'm for third prestige, no, I should be fourth tomorrow or the day after, but um, it's basically a video on how to level effectively and efficiently, and the main thing I'm going to be talking about is what guns um, to stick with, that I or guns that I reckon you should stick with, kill streaks, uh, perks, and how to spawn trap, all that kind of stuff. So basically, I use team deathmatch as a game type, and that's the only one I really play because uh, it's a hundred points a kill. And if you party up with a, all you need is you and a mate who are quite decent, so that same skill level, and you can basically get about mid twenty kill, mid twenties for kills a game. And it's not that hard because it's 100 points a kill compared to Domination and Headquarters where it's 50. People say, oh, I get more points because you capture stuff, but in that, it's, yeah, I don't like it as much. I just find Team Deathmatch is, it's fast, it, you know, those games can go from anywhere from 4 to 7 minutes. And it's really helpful if you've got double XP because you, you're doing 5 minute games, so it really helps for that. Um, so when you start off, I use the M4 Carbine and I use Specialist. I use Specialist because you get perks and when you unlock the perks and get to the 8 kill streak, you get all the perks. So whilst you're getting kills, you're getting challenges for every single perk. So once you're level 20, that's a must do. But a couple other things, um, when a new gun, so you say you unlock a new gun, so like myself, I use the M4 Carbine, and say you'll unlock a new gun like the Type 95, and you'll be like, oh yeah, I want to use that new gun. The thing is, you've got to stick with the gun you've got. You may well think the other gun's better or whatnot, but if you're level 20, if you've got a gun level level 20 something, and you're close to getting the 500 kills, then you really need to stick with it, because once you get the 500 kills, you get 30,000 XP. And to get that 30,000 XP on a different gun, like the Type 95 you just start off, it's going to take hours, compared to, like, an hour. So that's one of the things. I stick with fully automatic assault rifles. Because assault rifles, I feel, have... they got the lower rate of fire, so you can shoot them long range compared to the submachine guns. But they also have the high damage, and I stick with guns with low recoil. So I go from M4 Carbine, I use Type 95, um, the FAD. Some people don't like it, but I reckon it's good. But you've got to burst fire it. Um, and the G36C. Those are the main guns I use. So I get them each, so... With the M4 Carbine, I'll get it to 500 kills. Once it gets to 500, I'll then go to Type 95. Get that to 500, so then you get the challenges. Um, you can stay with them longer if you really like it. Like Type 95, I get to 1,000 kills, just because it's a great gun. Um, so yeah, it's completely up to you, but definitely get to the 500 kills. That'll get you all your challenges you need, and get you more XP. Um, now for perks, I start off with Slate of Hand, Quick Draw, and Stalker. Stalker is a... M I keep that across my entire prestige. It's always my third perk, Stalker. It allows you to basically, you walk faster than with the, okay, when you're zoomed in, you're walking faster than when you are not zoomed in with, without sprinting. So it's really effective. So you can sprint, and then as you go around the corner, you can just zoom in. And as you can see in the gameplay, I'm zooming in a lot because I always aim. I don't hip fire a lot. So it's more accurate, I feel. And so it actually helps a lot, and those challenges can get all they get you lots of points. And I use Slater Hand until I get to Scavenger. Then I use Scavenger because that has so many challenges; it's ridiculous. Because if you've got, um, if you put on your Specialist and use Hardline, after you get one kill, you get spe you get Scavenger straight away. That's ridiculous. So, and spawn trapping is a very easy thing, but in Team Deathmatch, you've got to realize it's not like Domination. There's no forced spawns. You're going to, they're going to spawn where you aren't. So if you're on this map, if you're camping at pipes, and you've got teammates at pipes, and up to the left from here, then you know they're obviously going to spawn where you're not. So you're always going to be looking where they're not. And the one thing, you don't want to run towards the enemies. If the enemies are coming towards you, let them come. Just, they're, they're so stupid. Let's see, I try to force it, and I get killed. And that's why you lose KDs, um, you lose win streaks, kill streaks, all that kind of jazz. So you want to get to a good spot, let them come to you. Your teammates will figure out that they're coming as well, if they're reasonably smart. They'll camp with you. It's not necessarily camping, it's controlling an area. That's all it is. Some people call it camping, I call it controlling an area. And that's what wins you games fast. Because enemies, they'll keep getting killed by you and they'll want to get you back. So they'll keep coming for you, throwing flashes, stuns and whatnot. So you remember, always be smart, be patient, and party up.
That's my advice, and I'm out.